Welcome to another Guy 2, with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Fiat Agri 160-55 Turbo Crawler Tractor. I think that's all of it. This is new to consoles um, and appeared on the PS4 mod hub today. So I assume it's on Xbox mod hub also. It should be. Um, this has been out a while, I believe, on PC. I, I think this is um, by Pepe nine seven eight three five two C and Team FSI modding. I've been having a bit of a fiddle around. Well, I drove them from where I just bought them to here. Um, my first alarming thought was the tracks looked very chromey, very tinny, and I thought, oh no. Um, but to be fair, once you drive them over a bit of ground. <clears throat> they get slightly dirty, they don't look so bad. Now, these are relatively old looking tractors. And as per usual, I'm going to do my Mr. Sealy P quick guide through history of the Fiat Agri. Not necessarily this particular one, but you know, Fiat Agri as a whole. I'm going to miss loads out. The history of the company is massive, they've done loads and loads of stuff. So before people start saying, you didn't say this, you didn't mention this, you didn't say this, this is very like a, a very brief rundown leading up to these particular tractors. So let me explain. Fiat Agri, as we kind of know it now, although it's got all different names, started off as Fiat Trattori. Um, it was founded in 1918 by Giovanni Agnelli and started off making our agricultural equipment predominantly tractors. Um, crawler tracks kind of gradually came in, um, helped with better traction on bulky ground and wet ground and those kind of things. Uh, they tried to make lighter versions, heavier ver versions, construction versions, all sorts of things. Um, they made their first tractor in 1918 and it was the Fiat 702. In 1932, saw the first European crawler tractor, the Fiat 700C, the first European crawler tractor. They came out with it. Now, Fiat Agri, Fiat, as I understand it, in the UK, Fiat cars were always a little bit, you know, they were all right, nothing amazing, you know. Fiat tractors, Fiat Agri, massive company, absolutely huge. They've bought out loads of other companies. You know, I think the the whole corporation now is rolled up involving Ford, New Holland, and I think the kind of corporation bought out Case, as far as I'm aware as well. Anyway, there's a whole load of history there. Very, very, very big tractor company. Um, interestingly, it was during World War Two that the kind of more modern version of this crawler track came about. Um, the Germans occupied Italy or were kind of allies anyway um, and they were making and repairing military equipment and pictures were coming back from the front the Russian front um, of crawler tracks so in secret the designers at Fiat Agri started development and design of a new crawler track system and design during World War Two, which was then rolled out so there you go slight change in their design and how that kind of came about um, in 1977, they changed from Fiat Trattori to Fiat Agri, and the tractors were always orange before then, as far as I'm aware. And I'm sure people will correct me, I, you know, this is from what I've found out, gleaned and found out myself. They were orange. And in 1977, around then, when they changed to Fiat Agri, they merged with or bought out another company, and they changed their livery from orange to the kind of burgundy red that you kind of see in front of you. In 1988, I think was when the Fiat 160 55 range came out. There was the Fiat 180 55, and the 160 55 was the 180 55, but kind of tuned down from what I gather. So 160 horsepower. Um, that's again what I've kind of gleaned. There wasn't a lot of information on the internet. I've been trying to find out stuff about them. There's lots about the company, but not about this specific machine. But there you go. History lesson over. Now we can get on with the guide to mod review, whatever you would like to call it. So we will go into the store. Now, uh, what I will do is rather than going through tractors, I'm going to go in through here. Fiat Agri, 
and when we click on it there is also a weight available in this um, this mod um, for the front there is no front loader uh, say front loader attachment there's no front three point linkage on this but you can put a weight on the front because obviously when you're chucking stuff on the back it can have a tendency to tip backwards but I'm going to focus on the actual tractor itself not the weight a weight is a weight at the end of the day so the 160 55 turbo 160 horsepower a whopping nine miles per hour top speed that obviously will be different if you've got your set of kilometers per hour uh, 45 pounds dollars or euros per day maintenance fees costs so have a quick look options available we have two we have standard and we have cab that's it your prices go from 31,000 to 36,000 so it's 5,000 just for the cab on top it's a lot of money but I suppose it keeps you dry and all those kind of things no windows so it's not going to keep you warm but anyway that said let's have a look now like as I said when they when I first got these the tracks were very tinny very kind of chrome looking very bright and shiny um, I have given them a bit of a jet wash in preparation for the video I, I'm growing to like boxy type tractors from doing my my let's play on the golden days of farming I'm using quite old tractors and this kind of boxy old kind of look is really growing on me now obviously upside 160 horsepower downside 9 miles an hour top speed but then a crawler track isn't designed for, for banging along I mean obviously the new modern smart track systems that a lot of harvesters and things use yeah of course they're designed for much higher speeds but these are the old original kind of crawler track designs there are some brilliant sound effects that go with this some sounds and animations rear three point linkage there are various sets of working lights on here this obviously is the cab version this is the non cab version but some really nice details on this I even like the kind of class um, connection points for the bonnet but yeah very very nice now this type of thing might not be your cup of tea but even if it's not your cup of tea even if you don't like what it looks like you have to appreciate the kind of the the quality of the mod and when I start up in a minute the sound effects and the things it does yeah even if it's not your cup of tea you've got to say to yourself actually that's, that's pretty good that's a cracking job so let's jump in it now we'll have a look inside first there's quite a lot of detail here we've got the joystick to the left controls to the right we've got the obviously the left and right control arms um, pedals and get it there's a lot of detail in this cab so let's start it up now I know it sounds weird but I like a tractor with character and that sound you get in the old tractors um, the Deutzfahr, Agristar, there's a few of them that when you turn them on it's got real character to the to the engine note what's even better is when this thing moves there's the squeak and kind of clank of the tracks which is just brilliant I love it it sounds great it looks great I say it's not super fast but it's not supposed to be now what's also incredibly good with this that I like about the mod itself at the end of the day the tractor's the tractor you're going to use it on your farm or whatever you're going to do for hauling stuff pulling stuff you know whatever you're going to be doing with it plowing that kind of thing and you kind of when you when you're playing your game you forget about the details you tend to you know not notice but anyway looking in cab and this is what I like when you turn the engine on and off you've got the engine light now a lot of the mods we get on on PlayStation 4 and consoles don't have a lot of these internal lights and things that are happening but when you turn it on red light comes on which is great but look at when I move forward the joystick moves forward down to my left as does the control arm down to the right and as you turn we've got the pedals left and right are being pressed and turned plus the hand 
um, movements. There's a lot going on here in this cab as you're driving. I like that detail. And as I ease up, those control arms come back up and the pedals go back to the central. Now, what's also great is if I turn the lights on, I've got, it looks better in the dark, but blue light comes on, lights, rear lights, and then there's the main beam one, which is great. But what's also fantastic I really like is the indicators. On the dashboard, indicator in indicator indicators, or blinkers if you're in America, blinkers, flashers. But anyway, um, turn that one off. There's a lot going on. I I like the interior of this. I mean, it's just brilliant. That look, it's great. We don't often get that on consoles. I know it seems like a small thing, but it's a cracking thing. I really do like that. The arm movements as well on your character when you're steering it's all been done it's all been animated I like it it's great it really really is great so from the outside lights on at the front sorry lights on at the back and then at the front full beam and then we've obviously got indicators. Interesting, the indicators are back here. Ah, not actually at the front. And indicators there. So that's the lights. There are no beacons on this. But I'm not sure that I'm not even that bothered whether it's got them actually. But you can see the light on the dashboard if I turn it off now. Now, the other one is exactly the same. Obviously, the view from inside, inside, I say, <laughs> is different because obviously there's no cab. Um, I do like these. I did like this with the uh, the Massey Ferguson pack from Black Sheep Modding. But this is brilliant. Uh, I, uh, you know, listen to that. It's great. It really, I, I, the stupid thing is, I know it sounds really ridiculous, and you might be watching this this guy to mod review thinking the man's an idiot. I'm smiling away here. I just I think it's brilliant. I really do like the animations, the trolls, the sounds, what it looks like. It may be slow and ponderous, but there's a charm to that. There's a I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's a great mod. I like this. There's not a lot else to be said. With cab, without cab, 160 horsepower, some great sounds, some great animations. It's a brilliant mod by Pepe978. I'm saying Pepe, it could be Pep, I think it's Pepe. 978352C and Team FSI modding. Rear three point linkage, I haven't hooked anything onto that at the end of the day. Three point linkage does what a three point linkage does. With 160 horsepower, um, you've got a fair bit of pulling power on that. And for 31,000 for this version and 30, what was it again? Isn't that terrible? Mine's gone blank. Uh, with cab, 36,000. They're not going to break the bank for 160 horsepower. That's that's pretty good. I'm thinking about 160 horsepower tractors. And the other modded one that I got the other day, which I might not have enabled. No, I haven't. Ah, that's a pity. Um, was obviously the Fent 800 favorite but I can't remember how much that was but anyway that being said it's a cracking mod brilliant bit of kit great animations great sounds um, yeah it's brilliant it may not be your cup of tea but even if it's not you can still appreciate what a great mod it is and that's about it it's a tractor unit it's a crawler um, I think it looks great that's my own personal opinion um, I hope you found this useful and informative, even if it's just to have a look at it and say, you know what, I don't want one. But, you know, you still made that choice. It's a three-dimensional look around it, plus the sounds, sights, experience, the character. You can tell I'm smitten already, can't you? Anyway, if you have liked it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, Thanks for watching.